Uh, in this movie, we're going to look at how to record a screencast using PowerPoint. And the first step is pretty obvious. Create your PowerPoint, and you can use Sketch to embed your screenshots. You can add text as part of your tutorial and use the draw tools such as arrows and shapes and uh, animation, and you can have bullet points coming in one at a time. All that will be recorded, uh, so you want to plan on how you want this uh, screencast to look. Uh, so you go ahead and you create your PowerPoint. Step two is from the slideshow menu, you'll choose record narration. That'll bring you directly into the slideshow presentation mode that you're used to, as if you're giving the slideshow, and you'll record your narration for each slide. You simply click like you would if you were giving the presentation to advance to the next slide, and you continue on with your narration. When you're done and you're satisfied, you might want to replay it back a few times and see if that's how you if it uh, is to your satisfaction. From the file menu, choose Make Movie. That'll bring up a screen that allows you to name your movie, where you want to save it, but it'll also give you the option of, of optimizing or customizing your movie if, if you want to. So you would click on Movie Options prior to saving and it would take you to this screen. Um, optimization is simply um, where is this media going to be accessed from, uh, online versus on a CD and so on. You'll see there's different um, quality settings based on your audience and how you're going to deliver the video. The movie dimensions um, can be set and customized as well. Uh, this is a good basic size. You could bring it down a little bit too. Um, Slide transi transitions, there's a setting here where you can have it follow the slideshow settings or not. You could add a background, background soundtrack, for example, um, music. Um, you could choose it to loop or just play once to show the move a controller, which would be, you know, stop, pause, rewind, and so on, or not. And um, you want to uncheck this that says include original presentation data. It's really not necessary in most of your um, things that you'll be doing. And you simply say OK.